Man, drones were inevitable, and they may seem to be a little bit dangerous and even a little bit crazy. But these types of flying crafts have been around for some time, and primitive designs date all the way back to the 50s. So this idea is definitely not going away, and there have been some really unique designs as of late. So let's take a look at some of the best homemade van drones. At number 7, the Flight Cycle. I think we have all seen this hover bike idea before, and their horrendous Dubai crash shows what happens when you go too far with these types of things. Anyways, I still like this particular bike, as it's a work in progress project which is already pretty stable. It's pretty much set up like your typical drone, with auto hover and auto GPS tracking. The newer version will also incorporate two fly-by-wire joysticks and govern to 60 miles per hour. Now I'm not too sure how this hover bike thing is going to work out in the end, but there definitely should be incorporated safety features like isolated flight control systems, and maybe separate battery motor pop configurations. That's number 6, the Zero G. It's always nice to appreciate the projects which start out with early prototypes that eventually lead to more complex designs. Now this first design looks pretty much like a barrel with a bunch of strapped on motors, but huge respect to the creator for actually flying this machine. His commercial designs actually look pretty impressive too, and his concept features a fully enclosed cabin with tiltable blades. So hopefully in the future it gets off the ground and it can become a commercial flyer. That's number 5, the Aerobatic Racing Drone. One of the most impressive drones out there is capable of performing loops and rolls. This was built by the Drone Champions AG for promoting its league video game. And it's a full carbon airframe with 6 arms and 12 motors. The craft provides over 300 kilograms of static thrust and can top out at over 140 kilometers per hour. It is definitely worth mentioning that this drone is externally controlled, so you'd need one very brave and obedient volunteer to sit in the seat while you control this drone from the ground. And once again we have another flying car variant which is titled the Concepto Melena. You remember that one guy who built one of those weird flying hoverboards that you stand on? Well, now he has built an ominous flying car. And this is very similar to the aerobatic racing drone, which is a multi-copter, one-man seater. It is powered by 16 motors, but it can actually handle up to 5 motor failures and still land. The current craft can also handle a 90kg payload, but a 2 passenger 180kg payload version is being worked on. Now I'm not sure how this flying car concept thing is going to work out in the end, but it's going to be interesting to see if they can commercialize this flying man's drone. At number 3, the Jetson 1. Once again, you will not have to order your significant other to get you a drink, as you can directly fly to the fridge now. A more daring approach straps you into an octocopter configuration with a pretty robust frame. Everything is joined by rivets and even the seat is made out of a lightweight composite material. So naturally, the initial video of this machine went viral, but a newer variant has added safety features including a ballistic parachute, proximity sensors, and thankfully propeller guards. There are also different selectable flight modes which amount to 20 minutes of flight time. The drone will eventually be developed into one sleek looking craft, and it's already open for pre-orders. At number 2, the Dragon Airboard 2.0. So I'm glad that somebody picked up that propellers can be extremely dangerous, so they incorporated a partial safety measure. This design is pretty impressive, with the controls being coordinated with the user's movements. So if you move the controls forward, the craft will move forward as well. And I prefer this over many other designs that we have seen, because it does actually prevent the possibility of a break between radial signals. The Dragon 2.0 can fly for around 20 minutes and actually travel up to 30 miles per hour. It also made it to the Go Fly Finals, and it's still flying to this day. At number 1, the Hero Flyer. This is yet another drone which has been overlooked, and it's one of the most impressive builds out there. Each motor and flight system has its own battery pack, so you can have partial motor failure, and you'd still be able to fly. It also has two independent flight stabilization systems, which I think that every man drone should have out there. Anyways, it does not use any GPS, barometric sensors, or magnometers, and it's driven by the pilot through feedback sensors in the helmet. Overall, it's one of the safest systems out there, and it actually gives new meaning to flying humanoid UFOs. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.